Hey everyone and welcome to the club. Today I'm going to be showing you how to draw Dexter from Dexter's Laboratory. Let's get started in the center of our page with the upper edge of the eyeglasses. So I'm going to start on the left side. I'm going to draw a straight line going over towards the right. From here I'm going to draw on the left side of the eyeglass. So from the outside I'm going to curve down and then in towards the center of this line, almost like a half circle. From here, I'm going to tuck the nose in behind the left side of the eyeglass. So from the top, I'm going to step down, draw a straight line going across. Now from here, I'm going to angle down and in. From this point, I want to draw on the mouth. So we're going to start with a straight line that comes down towards the tip of the mouth. Now we're going to angle up, aiming towards the left side of the eyeglass. I'm going to stop right about there. Now we're going to tuck in the right side of the eyeglass in behind the nose. Starting from the middle, we're going to draw that same thing. We're going to come down, in behind the nose. Now we're going to draw the bottom of the eyeglass. Coming down, and we'll curve this up towards the right side. Now let's trace out the inside of the eyeglass. So I'm just going to follow the top and the bottom on the inside, leaving an even space gap all the way around. Now we're going to go in and fill the frame in black. Now I'm also going to fill in the center area in black as well. On the top left side of the glasses, I'm going to draw a small half circle for the pupil. And then we'll fill those in black as well. Now from the left corner of the eyeglass, I'm going to step down and draw an angled line coming down and out towards the ear. I'm going to draw what looks like a C shape for the ear. I'm going to go around and then just pull that back up. On the side of the ear, I'm going to step up towards the top of the ear, draw an angled line going up and in behind the glasses. I'm going to fill that in black. From the bottom of the ear, I'm going to draw a short line coming down. And we're going to curve in just below the mouth. I'm going to come down and then just pull that across towards the bottom of the chin. From here, I want to curve around and up underneath the right side of the eyeglass. Going out and then pulling that up. Now let's move back to the left side and draw on the side of the head. So we're going to continue this line down here just above the eyeglass, going up towards the top of the head. From this point, we want to draw those two curls that come across the forehead. So from here, we're going to curve down and in. Now right here, I'm going to go up. I'm going to swirl this around and then come back down again. I'm just going to loop this around, come down over the right side. I'm going to draw another loop. Curl this around, and then back out. Now from here, I want to curve the front of the hair out, and then pull this back towards this point. So we'll start by curving up and out. We're going to round this out, curve the top of the head, and pull it down towards the corner of the head. Now we're going to fill this gap in with the forehead. So we're going to continue this line in behind the glasses, and up underneath the hair. On the left side, we're going to draw two little curls. From the corner, we're going to curve up and out. Now I'm going to draw one more going across. Now on the back side of the neck, I want to continue this line coming down towards the bottom of the cloak. I'm going to come down, giving enough space for the arm. We're going to go straight across the bottom to right about here, just below in line with the pupil on the right. And we'll pull this straight up underneath the head. Now we're going to add the arm and the glove on this side here. So we're going to start with a straight line just along the top. Now in the center, we're going to draw two lines coming up just side by side for the arm. Let's take the ends of the glove. We're going to angle down and in. 
Now we're gonna add three fingers. From the left side, I'm gonna curve out toward the left, round out the finger, and then I'm gonna pull that up. I wanna leave a small gap in the center here. We're gonna do the same thing on the right, going out towards the right, rounding out the finger, and then pulling that up. Now we're gonna connect these two points with the center finger, coming down and then back up. Just to the right of the glove, we're gonna draw a straight line from the chin all the way down towards the bottom. And about halfway down this line, on the right side, we're gonna add an oval for the button. And then we'll fill that in black. Now let's finish this off with the legs. From the corners, we're gonna step in and draw two angled lines going out. One on the left, and one on the right. Now I'm gonna angle this back up and in. Now we're gonna draw two more points. From here, we're gonna come down. And then from these ends, we're gonna angle up in towards the middle. Let's go ahead and fill all this in black. And that's pretty much it. There we have it, there's Dexter from Dexter's Laboratory. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. Make sure you subscribe and send me your requests in the comments below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon.